Our under 18s, our academy, because they won the under 18 Premier League Cup last night. Back the under 17s up, so it's important and, and good for the football club. Brilliant. Gary. Well said, the future is bright. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> what about the present? Any injury uh, news at all? Team news? Yes, um, Hugo. Uh, Hugo's out for the season, so we had the results back. Obviously, disappointing. Um, but we, we kind of feared that. Um, initially, we, we've done some more tests and um, yeah, he won't play again for us this season. And obviously with potentially a new head coach arriving in the summer, do you think he will play for Spurs again? So, no, I can't speak about next season, but, but what I can say is he's got a very important role for us um, to the end of the season. He's our captain and we need him. Uh, we need him to be a big part of the group and um, I'm sure he will be. Um, with Rodrigo, um, is, is, he on, is he on track? Some talk he may not be available even from the beginning of next season. Yeah, I think these types of injuries you have to be very careful with. Um, we see sometimes that they can reoccur and we're, we're assessing him day by day. He's, he's making progress, but at the moment it's, it's probably too early to, to set a return date. Having said that, well, that could potentially affect the summer business if he isn't going to be available until well into the, the new season, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. I think maybe in the summer those are conversations and discussions um, that will take place. But I think we're all aware within this football club that we've got three and a half weeks to, to finish the season as strong as possible and, and get results on the football pitch, and that, that's our main focus. I'm sure you're far too busy to be involved in all the work that's going on in search of a new permanent head coach, manager. Have you been updated at all on how that search is going? Because Xabi Alonso's name has come to the fore now. So I'm sure naturally when there's uncertainty, there's going to be names. Um, that's football. Um, that's part of it. But none of my energy and none of my attention is, is going into any outside noise or speculation. Um, within these walls, we're, we're together, we're working together and, and we've got a common goal. And that, that's try to, trying to get as many results as possible till the end of the season. And um, I'm sure in the summer there'll, there'll be things happen. But at the moment, that's, that's pretty irrelevant. That's caretaker manager if you can do the job that Roy Hodgson has done at Palace and you'll be quite rightly in with a shout of getting the job permanently what, what do you think of the job that, that Roy's done since he's, since he's been there? Amazing um, amazing obviously I have a, will always have a soft spot for, for Roy Hodgson because he gave me my England debut um, so I'll always be thankful for that but, but of course we're, we're playing Crystal Palace in, in a very good moment um, probably their best moment this season so we understand it's going to be a difficult match, but at the same time, we, we're confident in our stadium with our fans, we, we can get a result. Interesting, you said that, that you know, he gave you your debut. I guess you're at one end of the experience Premier League manager scale, and he's right at the other end. Do you still think he's got a lot to offer the game? Yeah, of course. I think recent results and performances suggest that. I think the most important thing in, in football is have you got the fire inside of you and, and can you influence players? And um, he's definitely got that still. If, uh, be a pessimist if you don't mind, then we'll try and be an optimist. But if, if you do lose against Palace and United get a draw at West Ham, that will be mathematically the Champions League hopes gone for the season. How, 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 how important is that for that not to happen this weekend? So it's important that we win. Uh, the only things we can do is take care of ourselves and then the league table will speak for itself at the end of the season because it doesn't lie. Um, we've, we've had a very up and down season and, and many things have happened. It's, it's no secret. We're, we're disappointed with how it's gone, but at the same time, it's not over yet. Um, we've still got a lot to fight for and, and we all know that. Um, and the, the final home game potentially for you will be Brentford on the 20th of May. It's going to be an historic day because there's going to be a women's game as well straight off the back of it. How, how important is that thing? Is that, is that a really important step for the club? Yeah, I think it's great for, for women's football. Um, I think the national team have, have done this country very proud and, and they've, they've helped grow the game. And if we can help contribute that as well, then, then it's great. We, we want to do that because it's, it's important for this country and it's important for women's football as well. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Ryan. You've said in the previous weeks and sort of touched on today that you're, one of the main goals that you had in the time between now and the end of the season from when you took over was to unify the club and the squad. How far off that do you feel you are? Or are you there already? Or where are you at with that? 
I think that's a process. I think that takes time, but I think what we probably can see um, from the, the first two performances is that we've got a group that are working hard. They're, they're working for each, each other. Um, and sometimes in football, you don't get results you deserve or, or things happen that, that can be, become difficult. But I think inside these walls, we, we can feel that we're together um, and we're going to need to do that from, from now to the end of the season. But not only that, for, for years to come, it's important for any football club to be together and and create that feeling where everyone's aligned with the fans, the players, um, the group. That's, that's key to, to being successful. Results aside, certainly what's been seen from the players on the pitch has been different in the couple of games that, that you've been in charge. There's been more, I guess, maybe more energy, a bit more focus on attacking football. Is that how you've seen it, or what have you what have you kind of put onto the players to try and get what you've seen? No, I think it it was it was a difficult moment to come in because I said at the time we didn't really have a great deal of time to change much, and we we don't have a great deal of time to be honest, but. I think what you can do um, is you can get inside the players and, and try and influence that. Um, and like I said, after the United game, to to go 2-0 down in, in the circumstances and come back was some sort of positive, and we felt that. And then if we take away the disastrous 15 minutes at Anfield, I thought we were outstanding. Um, so there's something we can take from that. But ultimately, we, we know in football that you have to win games of football. Um, it's a results business. and um, we, we're keen to do that. You mentioned, you mentioned Roy Hodgson, you, you spoke about him, but the, the, the Hodgson's palace that we're seeing in the, the last few games since he's been here now seems to feel a bit different to the one that he managed or that he was in charge of before. How surprising has that been, do you think? No, not surprising because I think sometimes from the outside you don't understand what's going on in the inside. Um, and he obviously feels like that's right for this moment in time and maybe... In past times, he felt like the best opportunity for him to get results was was a different approach. And that's part of managing, that's part of coaching. Um, the job is to try and get a result on the day. Um, and I'll never criticise <laughs> or have an opinion on anyone for, for trying to win a game of football in a certain style. And having probably looked at them as you already might have done, what would you say then have you seen is different between maybe the Palace that he's got now to the one before earlier on in the season? I think just a, a different energy, maybe a different feeling. Um, he's not been in there too long to change massive amounts, but, but what he's probably changed is the mindset, um, the mentality. I don't know, but whatever he's done, is he's done a very good job. Um, they've got results and, and they've scored a lot of goals. They've got, got some exceptional individuals and we have to be aware of that. Um, so, yeah, we understand what we're coming up against. Just one more. You spoke at length about Harry Kane last week. He's now he's now on 25 Premier League goals for the season. I think that would have won him the Golden Boot in the last four seasons already. Still three games to go. Obviously, he's not going to win it this season. But what an achievement already to be on that, that amount of goals and actually probably end up not going to win it. Yeah, I mean, if you take the goals away from it, in my opinion, he's, he's probably been one of the best players in the Premier League. In terms of performances, consistent performances and probably say that for the last three or four years as well is 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 at the top of the top of his game we, we understand that we feel that and I'm sure everyone that comes to stadiums to to watch us and watch Harry Kane feels that too. Okay, thanks. thanks Jake. Ali. Hi everyone. Um, just on injuries back to those. Is Basuma is there any chance of seeing him in the last four games? We hope so. We hope so. Um, yeah there's there's obviously some hurdles he's got to overcome and hit certain goals, but yeah, we're hopeful that it'll, it'll appear before the end of the season. Um, and also, with your back line, obviously it's still conceding goals at the moment. Has there been any temptation for you to switch to a back four now you've got Ben Davies back, or is it just too late in the season to make that bigger change? I'm not sure. We're training in the afternoon, so we've got some decisions to make. Um, and I think ultimately for us, it's it's a collective to try and keep clean sheets and win games of football. I think systems and formations, yeah, they can help. They can they can change some things, but I think the desire of the 11 players on the pitch to have a common goal um, and work together is, is probably the most important thing. Um, on, on one of your defenders, Pedro Porro, obviously he's still very new to the league and adjusting to the, the pace and the physicality. Have you been kind of working with specifically on the defensive side of his game and trying to improve that as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, we've had very little time to work as a group. Last week, we had two two games in, I 
think three or four days. So that time was limited. Um, I think the most important th thing for me with Pedro, he's got a great attitude. He wants to learn, he wants to improve, and I'm sure sure we're going to see him become a better, pl better player in, in the coming years. Just last one for me. Obviously, it's about the under 18s and under 17s. It's fantastic. Obviously, the academy it feels like it's heading in the right direction. But maybe, maybe just from the outside, that pathway to the first team hasn't looked as clear in recent years as maybe it has in the past. I mean, how, how does the club change that? Is, is that going to be an ethos from the very top to want to include the young players, or is it going to be an improvement of the young players to a better standard? I don't know. Listen, first of all, you have to be good enough. Um, and that's a challenge to any of our academy players. It's a big step up to our first team and we want them to aspire to that. Um, I feel like we, we need academy players and we see it now. Uh, we've got Harry Kane, we've got Skippy, we've got some others in the squad that, that are helping. So I understand and I think the club certainly understand the value in that. Um, it's not as easy as just giving them the opportunity, but... We're hopeful, I'm hopeful that, that if we can work in the way that I think we want to um, and have consistency with that, then maybe maybe we'll start to see that a little bit more. Are you concerned about losing you know, these young players? Obviously, like Romain Mundell is a good example, coming towards the end of his contract. As players like that, do they need game, team, game time to convince them to stay? No, not for me, because listen, I made my Premier League debut at 23, um, and my dream and aspirations was to play for Tottenham Hotspur. That never wavered. Um, I never thought about leaving. So the most important thing for our academy players is is to feel like they're part of the club and they want to be here. Um, if they want to be here, great. Then we can work, we can improve them and um, hopefully help them have careers in the game. But ultimately, if a player doesn't want to be at the club, then that's their decision. Thank you. All right. Um, just to finish off on injuries, can you update on the other players? So Sassignon, where are yeah, I mean, Ryan Ryan had a significant injury. He's been out for a long time, so Ryan won't feature for the rest of the season. Uh, Emerson, I think it's a day day to day um, check on him to, to see how he is and, and how he's coping. So hopefully Emerson can, can help us from now till the end of the season. And just thinking about, the, I mean, obviously, as you said, the first two games were such a tight turnaround. What, have, what are the sort of things you've been able to work on now you've had actually like a proper week? With the players? Yeah, I don't think I'm being unreasonable here, but I think these types of things probably stay inside the training ground because um, there's, yeah, there's tactical elements, but there's, there's other things as well that I think are important to, to keep between us. But of course, any, any management team and any coach needs time to work to, to change some things. Um, obviously, we've had three or four training days this week to try and create a different maybe a different approach, I don't know. Um, but ultimately, the most important thing is to try and win this game of football. Uh, we know that, we can feel that, and um, that's our, our main focus. We've, heard, we've had a lot of criticism of the players and their attitude and desire and things like that. What's your impression been from your first couple of weeks in the job working with them? Yeah, I've never, I've never criticised our players. Um, we can see that, I can see that, I see them day to day. I, I have massive belief in this group that we can be better than what we are now. Um, and listen, if you haven't got character, then you don't come from 3-0 down at Anfield in the manner in which we did create as many chances as we did. So we know there's character within the group um, and we just need to channel that to, to try and win games of football and um, hopefully we can do that. And just lastly, defensively has been an issue. Spurs are tracking to concede the most goals per game ever and for them in a Premier League season. What what do you put that down to? Is that individual errors? Is it, are those structural things? I think a combination of everything, um, to be perfectly honest. I think probably the most important thing is, is between the years because we proved towards the end of the last season that we can keep mm. clean sheets. We started this season off relatively well as well. I know we, we had a little spell where we were going 2-0 down quite a bit, but we were still a strong team. Uh, we still are a strong team. So I think in football, things can change very quickly. Um, and probably most importantly, the, the headspace you're in, the, the mental approach and how you feel is, is probably something that, that we're keen to change. OK, we'll end the broadcast section there, move on to the Red section for 10.30pm. Tom?